Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mike the Ref uh, Twitch channel and the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel as we... Uh, are on to week nine of WWE 2K24, uh, my GM mode season two. Uh, we are getting ready for the PLE coming up uh, next week. Uh, for those that are watching this on Twitch, uh, we record these every Wednesday and Saturday after AEW Dynamite, AEW Collision, with the exception of odd times, and just generally we're there after the sidecast, but. Um, and for those watching on Twitch, if you want to catch a replay of any of our episodes, they are available on our Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel every uh, Friday and Tuesday at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So you'll never have to miss a show before the next one comes up. So, well, yeah, last time we were here, uh, we just had another grind it out week here. Uh, we're third place in fans, but we got two Hall of Fame badges, so we're in technically in second. We do have some feuds we could burn off here. Uh, we have uh, a couple feuds we have to we have to deal with right away, and we have to find some way to make things better for us here. So, anyway, you know what? I could keep jabbering, but let's get into this. All right, so let's take a look at what we have to do here. Promise Scarlett a match against Ava Moreno within two weeks. Promise Jason Jane a rematch for the tag titles, which we will do. We got some contracts coming up at the pay-per-view or the PLE. Do not book your most popular cruiser this week. What do we get? A to the moon. So if we're going to get that, I think we might use one here as we go. So, But that little star tells me that we do have somebody to upgrade here. Cora Jade has made it to level 10. Which means she either gets basic stamina where she loses less stamina in every match or Superstar loses less morale for being in a match, losing a match, or being injured or being benched. Let's give her the stamina. I can handle booking her the uh, benching part myself. Now, Fallon's at a level 14, so that could actually be important here. Let's see if... Uh, what do I have for power cards right now? Do I have something that can put her over the top? That 30 will put anybody over the top, basically. But the reason I want to get her to level 15 is I can change her status. Like, basically, right now I have way too many bruisers. I'd like to get some fighters involved. That way I can change things around a little bit here, so. Get a good chat. Hey, you know what? I'm glad you are. Let's, okay, so I gotta get Baron Corbin in a match. Gotta pay off that. I think I'm gonna pay off uh, Jaden Lynch at the, uh, at the PLE for the middle match. All right, so that one was just an instant one. All right, so that's our career standing right now. So let's let's book this show. First of all, we have our tag match. We have the champs taking on the challengers for the titles. I 
I don't want to do anything crazy with them, but all these are high stamina costs, so let's do a normal match with them. We got the spas. I think I might give uh, Jane a spa card just to be safe. Our main event. Do we have anybody who... Any singles feuds that we have really going well? We got Gunther and Hayes, which... I think we do... Has Rollins got anybody right now? That's the thing. Rollins doesn't have anybody right now. What I think I might do is a champion versus champion. But I'm also going to schedule a run-in with Carmelo on Gunther. And the reason I want to do this is I want to see if I can get Gunther and uh, I want to see if I can get Gunther into the position where they get that feud to a level four and that'll be the perfect one for finishing things off for that feud. So We haven't done a four-way in a while, so let's see what we could do here. Get Fallon in there. Let's get Billy in there, just because we haven't had Billy in a match in a while. Trixie some experience that Maya T. Kirk could do in there as well, so. I'm glad you guys are getting those channel points. Feel free to use them up on on uh, some of the blurps if you want or anything else that we got going on there. Uh, bruiser, 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 bruiser. We have this problem again. Put a tables match, give it an extra boost. Then this one here for men's. I do need to get Baron involved. You know what? Let's get the men's tags involved here. Might as well get the tag chaps working. Who do we want to use here for heels? I think we use Dom and Baron. Because MVP's got the feud with uh, Ilya, so I want to use that for a... Nobody in real... St ah, Stax has got a little bit of a... You know what? We'll do this as the title match. We can change this match up because I really don't need this then. What I'll do is I'll do a one on one. I'll get Ilya to run in on MVP. Think that'll work. And then here we get a call out promo. Get you to come out of him.
I think I might have to bring Brittany in instead of... Uh, which way do I want to do this? I think I might actually put Brittany in here instead. We have totally bruisers. We have one fighter, but that's Cora Jaden. I don't want to get her involved in another match until the PLE. See if we could save this baby. Ah, it's stale. Advertising. Actually, she could use the uh, charity promo and you could do the advertising. All right, I think we got everything we need here right now. This still is not, whoa, what's the? Who's my most popular cruiser? Ah, Staxes. All right, in that case, maybe we won't have a tag title match to start. Well, what's he giving me anyway? Yeah, I want to use a to the moon card, so. Could do that. And we still do the run in here, so then we don't have to worry about anybody really getting hurt. Or you know what? Let's go one further here. Let's put that Intercontinental title on the line. We've already had these two fight once, so we know it's going to be an okay match. That's for their opener. That's for our closer. Can I get Cora in here just to... She had 57, so... That actually wouldn't be too bad here in this case. That way you can mix things up a little bit here. All right, let's see what the power cards are. Injury, limited stock, beginner's luck. Okay, what was our to the moon we we're going to Since we're going to get one, we want to use one. All right, we're going to get one. Okay, good. Less than 60 popularity gets an extra 15 automatically. I'm not going to use it on my part-timers. I'm almost tempted here. I, re I refuse to do it on my, my uh, part-timers just because it ain't going to be worth it. I 
I think Cora might be the pick for this. We're gonna get another one anyway, so. Okay, that's done. And we got a ton of pre-match physios, right? So we're gonna... Actually, Jane really doesn't need one at 40. It, she'll need one before the next match. If, if she's on the next card here, so... I think she might be doing a promo. It's gonna be Scarlet and uh, Ivy that's gonna be doing the big match here at the next show, so... I think we got it all. All right, let's do her to her. All the world hates a coward. All right, so for this one, we're gonna have to actually look at everybody else first before we can check out ours, because they do it in snake order. All right, for ECW opener, Angel Garza versus Tyler Bate. No promos this week. Three star. Mid card fatal four way Valhalla, Larray, Jody Garcia, McLeod. I'm assuming three and a half. Just knows how to book them. Another four way Indy, Piper, Rousey, and Don. Indiana two. How do you only get twos out of that? The Miz and Julius Creed, non-title. One, two. That's it. It's over. Hit the bell. Miz wins in a three and a half. Great. I don't know how they get such miserable matches out of some such great matchups. Jay Pierce, George Steele, Elton Prince. Matchup wise, it should work, but. Two and a half. Adrian Buck. All right, Tim, you get get a good match out of this. One, two. That's it. Ring the bell. Boo. Balor putting himself over a little bit. Okay. Ricky the Dragon versus Captain Grog. All these little promos. Then our main event, non-title. The two top blondes versus Raquel and Gigi. I'm assuming the two top blondes win. Yep. And that's already a level four, so that's gonna go with the PLE. Now what's Raw got? Shinsuke Nakamura versus Otis for the title. Could we be seeing a new champ here? No! Otis remains the champ in a four-star match. Shayna Baszler calling out Carmel. Okay. Regular tag team match once again. They're running the same matches. I guess if they're providing good, sh good stuff. Strowman put himself over. Another tag team match. Truth and Champa, the champs, versus Rude and Breaker. I'm assuming challengers win. Yep. Main event tables match. I don't know if they're going to do it this time. Taker wins. Damn it. They always seem to get that better, better match at the end. All right, so for our opener, uh, Jane was pissed because she lost the uh, she lost the titles. Scarlett was pissed because Ava was too busy winning the match while she was st sticking her rear end in uh, Ivy's face, which is something we'll deal with next time during the PLE. But they wanted their rematch right away, so all the world have a coward. Let's get right to it. They want their rematch, let's give them a rematch, but this time it'll be a regular tag match, so. Why 
Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate having you here, whether you're doing live, whether you're doing VOT, or you're doing the YouTubes. There's going to be no introductions until they get into the ring, so... You got to know this has got to be an extra pressure on her because she's got to lift. She got to lift the title belt as well as she's going up. So this could only be a one week reign, which actually for me would turn out perfect because I got I got a rivalry we can work with after the PLE. Because I'm pretty sure unless things don't work out right. Uh, we're going to get uh, Scarlet versus I Attitude Era Bucky here. Absolutely. Stick it to the wall and see if it works. Uh, probably for the PLE, our main event's going to be... Uh, Carmelo Hayes versus Gunther for the heavyweight title. Our mid-card match is going to be the uh, Becky Lynch, uh, Becky Lynch, Cora Jade title match. We might actually do that as the opener because uh, the, the booking's stale on it, but it's still a four-star match, so we can still blow it off at the PLE. We also, uh, Scarlet versus Ivy is going to be one of our feature matches. Then we'll probably fit two other ones in there somewhere with some other stipulations going on because everything, usually at SummerSlam, I like to do a stipulation on every match. And then the other, then I use that card at Mania as well, because Ted DiBiase's uh, bonus card for these is he pays for one show. Or he pays for two shows, sorry. So we use that card twice during our, uh, during our tenure here. He doesn't book the promos, but he'll, he'll pay for the matches. Maybe the other one we'll end up putting in there is uh, MVP and Ilya, if we can get that high enough here. I don't think we will here tonight. Well, it'll be on the card, but it won't be anything to finish things off with, so. I'm unfortunately following it to Triple H's uh, booking scenarios here and if it doesn't have a title, I'm not booking it that well. And Jane's just pissed that she doesn't have her title. Can't say I blame her. I'm just counting on that uh, McDougal Baron Corbin match not to have much to it. I, I got a feeling we'll end up with a t with a title switch here. Maybe it's just me, but I just it just makes too much sense to have that. I don't want to put it at the PLE because it was. I I'd rather put that level three feud between Ivy and Scarlet there.
It is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Scarlett and JC Jane. And the opponents, the team of Ivy Knight and Ava Ava, Ava looks so intense right there. Holding that title, the eyes bugged out of her head. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. Appreciate it. All right, bells are out, gone. We're underway here. So this is just a regular match, so this might take a little bit longer. Because one thing I have found is the regular tag matches, it's so hard to get the, uh, make sure the other partner's not in the ring. The or just to line it up so that X and Y, oh. Scarlett just said, yeah, I'm taking care of Ava here. See, like, you have to do that and then hit the opponent, then go for the pin. Oh, of course, Jade knocks out the referee. Which isn't an automatic DQ in this game, which I'm surprised about. Granted, the referee AI is horrible. Not even a one count. Don't even try it. I'll give Ava the tidiest bit of credit for that, but. But the champs seem to have things in well in control here. I'm actually a little surprised. And the hot tag into JC Jade. Oh, missed. And Ivy just took advantage. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get our work. We're, we're gonna have our work cut out for us here in the next few weeks. Because the one thing I didn't do, it like, besides the roster makeup being absolutely brutal, like the best thing to happen to me here is if we could actually get uh, Becky to become a fighter. Same thing with Fallon Henley. If we can get her to become a fighter, all these heel bruisers we can change over to. We can have feuds with the bru heel bruisers and the face fighters, right? Because we've had too many weeks where it's just been bruiser, bruiser. He's the back. I haven't seen that animation before. Well, the player's trying to s crawl out of the way and, and uh, Scarlet still hits her. Down for the cover, referee out of position. Just a one count. 
Well, that was not one of the time to pose here. There's a the tag to Ava. And Ava's just being smart, staying out of the... It's one rule that you learn in this game. Is if you're on the outside, or if your opponent's on the outside, if you're in first, you get the opportunity to attack first when they get back in. Let's get another hot tag into Scarlet. Rolling neckbreaker. Nice drop toe hold there by Scarlet. Go for the cover. Just a one and a half. I really do appreciate Scarlet being this great utility pick that we picked up in the draft. It's going to be interesting to see how things go as we move towards getting the uh, the larger venues and because we are going to have to have a few weeks here. I think after SummerSlam, some of our shows are going to be really slim pickings for the uh, people that we're going to be using. Like we're not going to have a lot of specialty matches and Yeah, you pose, Ivy. And just a two count, almost a three. A spear out of a taunt almost got a three count. That would have been amazing. Cracked the code there. Scarlet's got to get Ivy in the other half of the ring. Or do that. Oh, here we go. Falling and praying. There you go, new tag champs. Perfect timing. Here are your winners in the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. The team Scarlet and JC. There we go, new champs back where they belong. Now we can resume that feud with uh, Billy and... Billy and Fallon. In a three and a half star match. Perfect. Everything I was looking for in that match up there. Well, pretty close. Becky only loses one popularity but gets his 14 grand. I can use every dime I can right now. So, this one here, Baron's, Baron's attitude's a little crabby right now because he isn't getting any work. Uh, Stax, we were going to do a tag title match, but unfortunately Stax uh, needs to be off the show so I get that to the moon card. So we are going to have uh, Clint take on Baron Corbin in this matchup. We haven't been able to see Baird for a while, so. Be interesting to see how things go here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Way to the ring from Staten Island, New York, weighing in at 200. And 40 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Clint McDougal. All right, Clint, Mr. Ball Cop is getting some work in. Setting up for probably a tag title match, if not here, then going up in the week later. 
it's always good to get these titles out because if you get a match with a t you get a title match involved it usually does help with uh getting the overall star level up and also if they throw that boycott champ card it will allow you to uh avoid having necessarily all your singles champions boycotted Man, Baron's got that look on his face. I will say this: at least I got, at least I'm booking Baron more than uh, the WWE is right now. I do want to work on getting bigger pyro for it, for the scene, but right now my number one priority is booking uh, SummerSlam. And we'll see how things go for the match. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I can throw five different stipulations in to finish things off. So what we can do here is uh, SummerSlam will have the knockdown card. We'll play that special promotion card the week after because we'll have a ton of fans coming in from that uh, for that pay-per-view. So basically we'll get an extra artificial boost for the next week, so. I love how McDougal's pulled out all the power uh, moves and he's like a two thirds of the size of Corbin here. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Nice little Bundy splash, I like that. What I think I'll try to do next time, if uh, if it's possible, see if we see if I can set up the exact rosters that we want for these. Uh, like not outside, like in GM mode. But like the pool of wrestlers that we can pick. Just because I do feel that there are some that we are missing here that we could have had an opportunity to get. I know I had to wait till week nine to get JC Jane uh, on our roster here for season one. Corbin split. McDougal's paying no quarter here. She still does know how to count. Cool. All right, going once again. Oh, God. Running Germans.
Shoots the half, hooks the leg. And that's it. Corbin, if you're going to get grumpy because you're, lo you're not getting matches, you got to put up a better performance than that. Well, McDougal gets the win, so at least that'll help him with his uh, morale and popularity and all that. I think we might lose Baron here eventually. One and a half. Ugh. Not the best match, but not the worst. Worst would be one star completely. Good, we got that at level four. That will be our main event for the PLE. Now this one here, I wanted to get Billy into a match. I want to get Trixie in there because Trixie's got all the stamina in the world. Cora's getting this as a tune-up and also the fact that she's one of the few fighters I have on the female side, on the heel side. So we got two fighters, two bruisers here in a four-way. So it would have been nice to get a gi giant and a cruiser, but... Yeah, I'll learn to book better next time, so. Anyway, let's get to this. This will be our de facto main event to the evening. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot watch uh, the last match because of the run-in I have scheduled. They do not allow you to watch run-ins or GM interference or fixed matches. That's the one that confuses me, the fixed match one. Oh, that's right. I put it as a tables match, too. I mainly did the tables match part because I wanted to finish quick. Brittany for champ. Hey, we'll see. We got her. We got her till the... I think it's Survivor Series, the next one. It all depends who wins the cage match next week. If Cora Jade's in there, maybe. From Chinatown, New York, Billy Slugger. But the problem is, they're the two fighters right now, right? I normally don't worry a whole lot about the classifications as much as I should. If I could get um, like enough stipulations thrown in. Like actually Cora and Billy would be a fight that I would do. Because uh, Cora Jade's tech er, technically a fighter and... Uh, Billy's technically a bruiser while Cora Jade's technically a fighter so that actually worked work out as a good pairing but currently right now Billy's tied up with JC Jane so I don't know how this is going to work out everybody's got singles feuds everybody's got tag feuds I love the fact that everybody has feuds. That way we can book some positive matches out of this, but I'm just not getting the over-the-top uh, over finishes with everything. Now, Cora just wanted a match just to get ready for next week. Because she's going to get a chance to finish up Becky Lynch finally. If it wasn't for Heyman, she might have been champ last PLE, but...
But yeah, with this being a tables match and four people in here, I don't think this is going to last very long. I love how everybody looks so smushed except for the actual uh, real character. Yeah, if we could get, I, I would like to work on possibly getting, like Ava was a champ for a week, but I'd really like to see if we, we could get one of our other uh, hired wrestlers into a championship role, even if it's the IC title. Like, having it on Rollins is fine and all, but he really doesn't need it. Hey, Trixie, quit your posing. And Cora just, she doesn't, I don't think Cora cares if she's involved in the decision. She just wants to go out there and hurt people. I think Trixie and Brittany are in for a little bit of a feud here. Yep, nope. Trixie had the chance to finish it there. It just wouldn't go over to the table. Oh, here we go. That's it. And Trixie wins it. Here is your winner, Trixie. Like I said, tables matches don't take long. Isolate, set up, finish. About as much as I expected out of that. We got so many jobbers on the roster. We and their staminas are horrible. Thirty-seven fifty. Okay. So now our main event is Seth Rollins versus MVP in a rematch for uh, three weeks ago, but this time Ilya Dragunov's coming in to uh, screw with MVP, hopefully to get their feud up to another level here. So. Let's simulate this. Rollins wins anyway. Dragunov MVP to a level two. Mission accomplished. All right. Well, as much as that was great, <laughs> uh, let's go check out the report cards. SmackDown got another good booking. Hayes and Gunther level four. Dragunov MVP level one. So we do have some rivalries ready to go. Let's check out the match report here. Yeah, there's no rivalries, no titles. So it just didn't work out that way. So and this one here, just because there was no match type, it didn't get anything extra. So. Scarlet's close to level 17. Title match, so we got extra for that. Tag, see the tag chemistry? Since they work well together, they get an extra boost there. I want to check Cora here. Oh, she made level 10. Perfect. 
And this one here, 16, 13, yeah, they're... There was no title involved, but they still gave it five stars for that. All right. Let's check what everybody else got. Amazing booking for Raw. Of course they did. And everything's a four-star rivalry here. Four-star, two-star, two-star, three-star. And another good booking for us. Oy, frustrating. But you want to talk about frustrating? Here's the ultimate frustrating part. All right, ECW. You got the 3103. And 370. So they're making bank. They must have upgraded something I don't know about. One oh two. So they made thirty-three and two thirteen. So they're doing okay. A one seventeen. So they're three one four eight and three sixty. We're way behind. We got a one oh two, so we're not horrible. Thirty seven thousand. We got two fifty four. So considering the things we were paying there. I can sort of understand this. Let's see here. We got another to the moon card, which works out great. So yeah, technically we're in third. We're like 50,000 fans behind Pierce, which means he's probably got the bigger arena ready to go already. So uh <sighs> This is going to be, we got to get that bigger arena sooner than later. But uh, yeah, uh, because of the Hall of Fame trophies, we still are in second. We're probably going to get close to getting another one here coming up soon. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, so we can't save here. It'll keep, it'll redo the uh, results if we don't, uh, if we don't advance it to our next booking point here. So Let's get ready for our PLE, shall we? See what's coming up next week. SummerSlam, week 10. Five weeks, 30 grand. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to wait. Uh, I did have a card that allowed me to play the, uh, we get it for another two weeks deal. All right, JC, what you gotta say? Thanks for the title rematch and your new champion once again. Good to have the title back in my hands. Thanks again for the rematch, boss. I appreciate it. And you impressed me earlier when you looked out for my needs. Glad you're giving me the respect I deserve. Perfect. Just the woman I want to have in that, that conversation there. Ah, uh, don't know if you heard, but Brittany drank my pumpkin spice latte this morning. I'm pretty sure it was deliberate. I've had enough of her constant disrespect. So you want me to do Maya versus Brittany this week? You're like the lowest person on my roster. Go to hell. I'll do a jobber fight, but not at a PLE. That's the part that gets me here. All right, so as we move into this, just so you know, we do have some options here. We are going to be able to get close to the arena, but we're not going to do it this week because we don't have the money for it because we do have to book the PL the the SummerSlam PLE boost. But then also there's the Gorilla. These effects are available. We're going to wait one more week. And then we're going to get the arena. And then we'll start making some money. And we'll get... Uh, we'll, we'll be able to... We'll be able to translate that into some of the other items. So, 
But then also, who do we get to who do we get to level up here? Brittany levels up. That's awesome. Then I think we're going to use our card and bump Fallon up. Because we got to get her working here. So we have a few feuds that we're going to finish off here. Cora and Becky's going to be one. We're going to get Carmelo and Gunther as another. Scarlet and Ivy as another. I don't think we have any other threes, so we're going to... We got three three feuds we're going to blow through here on the next show. We got our opening match. We got our closing match. We'll probably... Uh, I'll have to see about stamina's here, but we'll look, we'll look to see what we can fit in the two and the four slot. Probably look at it like uh, maybe a Trixie and a... Trixie and an Ava, maybe to get, get that over a little bit. I would like to get Fallon into another match as well, though. But we'll be able to look at that next time when we get here. Uh, well, yeah, we got pretty much... Oh, my goodness. We have to book a steel cage match to get rid of rivalries. By booking a steel cage match, we get a card where we can send Raw back to the high school for one week. I, I think we're going to be good, chat. See so yeah, how we got... We only got... Well... We're gonna have some contracts to deal with in a while here, but other than that, I think we're gonna be good here. I, I think we're really gonna be good coming up to the PLE, so. Uh, for those on Twitch, stick around. We'll send out a raid here in just a moment. For those on YouTube, uh, maybe consider checking us out live on Twitch. We do it every uh, Wednesday and Saturday following AEW Dynamite Collision uh, over on uh, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. If you liked what you saw tonight, uh, please give us a thumbs up hit the uh, subscribe button uh, and in the video here down in the comments tell us which match you enjoyed the most which match do you want to see or just throw an emoji up for engagement but either way thank you thank you everybody on YouTube for checking things out and always remember be part of the solution don't be part of the problem and we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel Take care, everybody.